the message behind this installation, I believe, is very simple. The, the problem that the, the space asks is, you know, how does, how does the space get used from day to day? And how has it been used for the last thousand years? So thinking about how many faces, feet, pants, shorts, skirts have moved through these streets over a thousand years, I think as a Canadian, you know, we have a long history, but not a long history of, of buildings, but Europe, Malta has a long history of buildings and a long history of civilization. And, and I think looking at that very simple idea, who has been in these streets and what do they look like, where have they walked? set up an installation like this, uh, I, I take into consideration coming from Canada, cost, uh, material, what can I fit under my, under my arm when I travel. These are all part of the mathematical process. And so I build everything in my studio in Canada. And, and then it all comes in a roll and three installers and Pretty much the plan is already set and sit back and watch them install. And so they're installing on a, on a scissor lift, on a cherry picker we call it in Canada. And uh, they install the lights and we make sure that there won't be too much getting caught in other wires and it was a very simple thing, four hours of installing. The Valletta Cultural Agency chosen many interesting projects through the years and when I saw the call for proposals I thought it would be an interesting challenge. I love these kind of uh, calls for expression of interest we call it as artists because you know since I was a kid I love solving problems and and working within boundaries and I think the Valletta Cultural Agency has a very great challenge on their hands to, to make such a beautiful city even more fun and more beautiful. So I hope I've added to that history.